because um, you know, I'm really, honestly, I'm hearing, hearing, I'm hearing such good things about Breath of the Wild. Apparently, it's a beautiful and insanely open world game, and even though it's stylized, the sort of physics and the sort of mechanics of the game are apparently really fun, and all the weapons and clothing, characters, villages, are oh, apparently there's so much to do, apparently, it's shaping up to be awesome, and the story, can't wait to explore the story as well, that's definitely, when I look back on the Legend of Zelda series, and my, sort of, the games I've played, um, the sort of resonance, that it has and the impact it has on me as a gamer really is a story the characters their sort of their stories their emotions the music all of it is woven in all the games ocarina of time majora's mask twilight princess the three main ones i've played all are a cacophony a symphony of wonder and i really uh, i'm looking forward to exploring breath of the wild at some point i'm gonna need to go back and play skyward sword i have a friend who played it you know it's one of his favorite zeldas i've never i've played the first 20 minutes didn't i i wasn't really at a time where i could get into it i remember the stamina gauge i'm flying on loft wing but i just whenever i talk about it with uh, my friend i choose to berate it just to get a reaction from him and it usually works what oh, these eyes so yeah i'm not getting one to switch at least not right away. Zelda will occupy me. Um, I'm really looking forward to ARMS. ARMS I think looks pretty fun. Skyrim, yeah that looks cool when that comes out. Uh, I have to see what's on the eShop of the virtual console. I'm eagerly awaiting news on whether GameCube will be coming. It's rumoured, so it'll be interesting to see if those rumours translate into sort of concrete. Uh, fact, and we do get a Nintendo GameCube Virtual Console because there are so many games on there that I would love to play on the Switch. Super Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion, Pikmin, etc., etc., and I have them all there. I can see them there. It would be just be cool to play it on the go on the Switch. Mario Kart Double Dash. But then of course there's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe coming out. Oh, I really think E3 will be a big thing for the Switch where they, I blame and hope that they will uh, unveil a sort of plethora of Nintendo Switch original games to come out. They really do need to sort of bolster that lineup because it's pretty weak. We have you know, Super Mario Odyssey. It's a fitting name, doesn't make it a good name. Coming out in the holiday period. Yeah, I'm sort of 50 50 at this point. It's gonna have to really win me over. I think at E3, see a bit more about it. Because it's looking a bit Sonic 06, you know, in the real world. I'm just wondering if that will detract some of the magic of the sort of uh, world. The Mushroom Kingdom. But you know, I'm going to reserve judgment. Um, we'll see what uh, they say. So, yes, that's this weekend. Yeah, well, hopefully, you know, touch wood, um, it all goes to plan and it arrives. Um, and I'll probably cover it you know, on my Instagram. I'll probably Instagram it and uh, in, use the Instagram story. So, yeah, yeah, when it arrives, I'll be right on it. I'll be like, This microphone. It's great picking up sounds. Especially if you use headphones. Then what about Xbox? Yeah, Xbox One. Yeah, Foreigner has come out. Apparently, 
it's really good. I, oh, bugger, I've spilled some tea on my leg. Oh, it's really wet. That's what she said. I just hope the 
matchmaking services work well. Because uh, that'll be key. Um, you know, if if at lo well if when that launches there isn't um, a great adoption for it, then it could be tricky. But we hold out. What else is coming out? That's really it. This goes recon. Wildlands, but I haven't played the beta because I didn't pre-order the game. That is apparently yeah, quite good. I do enjoy the Ghost Recon franchise. So um, I'll see you know, what reviews are like for that. It's one of those where I think you enjoy it mostly with other friends and playing co-op. You know, they always tack a sort of uh, hurdle on. I've got to find friends now. So, um, we'll have a, we'll see. But yeah, what I wanted to show you. favorite games win 
of the Wild is going to build upon that, especially taking interest from um, the first Legend of Zelda on the NES. Could be very exciting. But yeah, I think this spring there's a decent array of games coming out. You know, Resident Evil 7, I really enjoyed. That's an excellent horror game. Um, I really like the direction they're taking Resident Evil in. It'll be interesting when we eventually see Resident Evil 8, whether or not they decide they opt for continuing on this path. I really enjoyed the storytelling. I enjoyed the subtle nods to previous installments. However, you know, in terms of sort of shipments, it performed poorer than Resident Evil 5 and more surprisingly Resident Evil 6, which was atrocious. So, you know, from a business standpoint, it's strange. It was Resident Evil 7 was met with critical success, but commercial, not mediocrity, but very average. You know, two, I think it shipped 2.4 million in its first week or so, which is still very impressive, you know, but compared to others in the franchise, it's not been the most um, successful opening uh, gambit. So, we'll have to see. But yeah, um, uh, they also just leaked um, Shadow of War, the sequel of Shadow of Mordor, and now this is a game I'm very much excited for. Loved Shadow of Mordor. It was such a, a really. I liked how it wasn't direct from you know the the Lord of the Rings um, sort of story. It was its own piece. I really enjoyed the two characters, the Ranger and Celebrimbor. 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 And this one seems to focus around the forging of the great. Sauron's there. Um, just looks epic. You know, it looks bigger. Um, I think it's gonna be, you know, who knows, it was only a teaser trailer. Really, that was well a story trailer that was released. So I'm gonna I'm wondering if it's going to be how many worlds there are gonna be. You know, because the first game had two distinct areas, which was amazing. One was very gritty, one was very sort of green countryside. The Nemesis system was also branding orcs and creating your own army. So sort of manipulating this sort of political um, hierarchy was, um, you know, a great mechanic and I would expect that to be um, continued and brought into the sequel. I was, I, I thought they would make a sequel. Just because successful the first one was so it'd be great to see that and what they bring into it uh, I think I'm not sure when we hear more and um, I'm presuming it's sort of August you know a sort of full release date area
I just want to take this time to hope you guys all have a very relaxing sleep and um, yeah, just stay positive guys. You know, whether you're working or you're trying to get to sleep, hopefully this video aids you in concentrating on either of those tasks and letting you sort of function at your best or rest at your best so you can continue to you know, better yourself and uh, make each day, make each day count and really sort of um, take everything in your stride um, and uh, you know, keep a positive outlook. So guys, that's all from me for now. But lots of love, as always, as always, my friends.